We're back, and um, I, I don't even know how to start right now. There's a lot Jacob's of things that I didn't film. <laughs> Jacob's here. <laughs> Jacob came over because we were going to do a leak down test on his car. Meaning we were going to use my very, very trusty leak detection tool, which is not out anymore. But uh, used a smoke machine, found leaks in Jacob's car, and now we're going to do a valve jump. E28 here, seats out, Jacob car here, let's get it. If you have an E30 or an E28 or any of these cars that uh, have this system, I'm gonna show you real quick how you adjust these. It's really, really straightforward. You can see Jacob down there. <laughs> it's really, really straightforward. All you need is your uh, shims, as we have here. You need some sort of tool to grab onto your little nugget right there uh, what's that called it's called an eccentric it's called an eccentric you need an eccentric tool so you can grab those and make the actual adjustment and finally you need a 10 mil and in order to do one of these adjustments you have to make sure that your camshaft which runs, runs right along the center of this valve cover since we have a single cam vehicle when the you have to make sure that the camshaft at point you'll see right there Jacob you can go ahead and turn it that thing right there see how it's going down and it's letting this tap it right here sink back down to its normal position as that turns. So all I'm waiting for is for that camshaft to turn around enough so that it is on its lowest point. Like right there, now that this one is on a low point, you see I can wiggle this. And that is your valve adjustment right inside of there. You can go one more turn, Jacob. So now that the camshaft is at that smaller, see that? Tick, 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 tick. A point tick. to make, if you take out your spark plugs, oh, yeah. it'll make turning that yeah, much yeah, 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 easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what Jacob's doing right there, he's turning the crank nut by hand. And that's like not easy when it has compression in the motor. <laughs> when your motor has compression, that's hard. If you take a spark plug out, or all of them, sorry, not one. If you take your spark plugs out, you can do this a lot easier. You can turn the thing over a lot easier. It's a lot quicker, but we're muscling it right now because we only got a few to do, so. Now that this one is on that section of the cam, like I said, where it has that ticky movement, I can go ahead and do that procedure. Take our adjustment. 0 0.010, right? Yeah, 010. Zero, zero. 0.254 millimeters. Oi, got our thing here. Tap, 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 tap. Gonna get this guy. Gonna feed it right in this gap. Right in there. As you can see, I'm having a hard time moving it through here. Honestly, this is a little too tight, so I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. So you go ahead, you loosen that 10 mil. Just loose. Doesn't have to be take it off or anything, just loosen the 10 mil. If your feeler gauge still in there, Get on here and you can move this eccentric back and forth as much as you want. And all that's doing is it's changing that little value. So once I bend it all the way this way, look at that, ton of room. Ton of crazy room, but I can tighten it back down and get it right at that perfect little resistance. Yeah, so that it barely goes in and out. And then with that there, you tighten down your nut, hold the eccentric in the other way. Bam! Adjust it. You do that 12 times, and you're good to go. <laughs> Thank you for recording that. And just like that, we did it. Every single valve, we rinsed and repeated that process. Mark them as we go, because you should always do that to know which ones you've done and which ones you haven't. Turn that thing, make sure you have the ones that you can adjust lined up. Adjust them, and you're good. We're good, we're done. Everything's done. What'd you do? Oh no! <laughs> oh, sorry. The camera cut off. We finished. Everything's tightened up, and Jacob's gonna hit us with a nice, clean, cold start after we pick up some stuff. So it turns out the freaking map was unplugged, and uh, or not unplugged. We're not plugged in all the way. So Jacob stoked. I'm stoked. Everyone's stoked. And that's about how I'm finishing tonight. I'm gonna check you guys, check in with you guys tomorrow when I'm working on the E28 again and uh, maybe the E30. So, good night. Peace out. Woo! <laughs>